Hey, here we go. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> So welcome to <laughs> I Told You So with Blair and Chelsea. With you've seen us before, we're on Desperate Debate for ABC.com where mm -hmm. we debate the issues of Desperate Housewives. So and we figured we love debating so much, and clearly the two of us have a lot to say. So why leave it at Desperate Housewives, right? Exactly. exactly. So we are here to debate hot topics and three of weekly TV shows that we everyone in America is obsessed with. Mm -hmm. So today we're going to start with hot topics. So let's just All get right. to it. Sandra Bullock, Jesse James. Ooh. Oh, I mean, it's just terrible. I ache for her. I want to hug her. I want to reach her. If you're watching, which you're probably not, <laughs> I love you. We all love you. But let's just cut to the chase. What do you feel about it? Well, I'll tell you one thing. One thing that I feel that's a little upsetting is the fact that now one affair, one incident is not good enough anymore. Yeah. It's like the tiger effect. We've got to have two and three and four for it actually to really matter. It's like America is hung up on this big numbers thing. So there's more and more women coming out. And I don't even know if I trust that these women really had affairs with him. But it's like the more women, the bigger the story, the more sad it is. It's digging deeper for her and the it's, more she has to go through. It, exactly. And it's like, when, when was one affair not good enough. Right. I mean, it's it's sad enough with one. We don't need Exactly. That. Well, here's what I think. First of all, I, I think she should, I mean, the guy always was known as the bad guy. He was married to a, a previous ex-porn star, for heaven's sake. So, when you go from a porn star and tattoo bitches to Sandra Bullock, <laughs> you know, he's the one that looked out in that situation, not her. I, what I hate is she thanked him in every single I award, know. thanked him profusely for you changing her life, and then who, he goes and does yeah. this. I just think men suck. And, you know, it's terrible. Care. It's so terrible. But here's the thing. Do you agree now that instead of just dealing with her issues, from what I've been told, she's going straight back to work and she's right now in the middle of negotiations with her agent who also represents Meryl Streep and they're going to be doing a movie together playing mother and daughter. What do you wow, think? Do you think this that's is a good idea really for her? Really big news. Yeah. I actually do think it's really good news because they really had a connection and it was something that we all saw during the awards season. It really felt like they mm -hmm. were having a playful sort of friendship that was mm -hmm. blossoming and I think the two of them working together is really going to be what she needs to sort of start the next chapter of her life. I mean, yes. hey, she's a huge actress. Who just won a Yeah, very if America did already love her enough, hello, now we really love her. And honestly, good riddance, right? This guy wasn't the right guy. So get guy rid of him. Don't place. stay with him. Don't don't work it out. Even though I want what's best for whatever. I want what's best for you, Sandra. I guess we all do. Well, I think so too, but I don't think Jesse James is what's best for her. Let's just be honest I know. about that. It's terrible. So okay. we love you, Sandra, but we're looking forward to this new film and good luck. Okay, next hot topic mm. that I was telling you about earlier today. Howard Stern has been getting so much flack as of late because of his very controversial things he said about. Gabide Sibide. If you don't know, if you're not familiar with this, basically he went on the radio and ranted and raved. First, he did say her performance was amazing, he loved the film, he was very happy for her. Okay, but that's then nice he went, Yes, but then he went on to explain that with her weight and the weight and the, how massively big she is, he doesn't see her, foresee her having a, a huge leading lady career for the rest of his life, for her life, because he thinks she's too fat to be a famous actress. And he was basically just giving her a reality check. Well, the news ways and the internet's one advising, and now everyone thinks Howard is so mean and so that's so what do you think? Well, first of all, didn't we all already think Howard was so mean prior I love to this? Guy, yes. Yes, I love Howard as well, but let's let's be honest, he's not always the nicest guy. The one thing that I have the problem with this is is she was in a huge, huge movie. Did an amazing job in that movie. Since when does weight have anything to do with talent? I mean, you can lose weight, you can't gain talent. I right. hear you. No, this is. Mm -mm. Here no, we you go. don't agree. Michelle Obama, our first lady, her number one initiative is promoting healthy eating for kids, promoting exercise, promoting physical fitness, fresh grown vegetables, and organic. Like, that's like the new thing because right now our country is so fat. And so I have a very big problem with seeing someone who goes all over the red carpets and all these gay men, you know, they rip to shreds all these women's <laughs> dresses and all that. No, but when Gabby walks down, it's like, she's big, she's loud, she's proud, and good for her. Her. No, well, else not good for her. No, no, no. Claire. She's setting a terrible example, and she's gonna, like Howard said, she's gonna eventually kill herself because she eats so much. She's gonna get diabetes. She's gonna get sick, and she's not a good role model. I think she needs to at least <laughs> get down to like um, Queen Latifah size. I'm not saying be a size two, but I don't want to support her work until she does lose some weight because I think it's unhealthy and a terrible example. But see, I think it's unhealthy to be linking the two together. Now, I completely agree with you and Michelle's. You know Obama's initiative to that we do need to sort of shrink down Americans getting fatter. But yes, and she's a prime example. Have, but it doesn't have anything to do with her work. 
I don't right. think that like, she, she should not be praised for her weight. She should only be praised for her work. And let's be honest, at the end of the day, her weight is not going to allow her to play that many roles, honey. I don't know. I kind of disagree because I feel like she's talented. I think she's going to go on to do bigger and better things. And whether or not she gets bigger, I don't think that that really has... Look at Jennifer Hudson. She won an Oscar. Actually won, under, uh, unlike And that. she has slimmed and down. And she's had a... A, she's slimmed down. But B, she's had a nice, steady career. She does, you know, maybe a film a year, which is great. But if you really look at it, she's not even working that much. And she's the best of the best. And she can sing. So where's Gabby go? Where are we going with this? I don't think we, I don't think it has to do with weight. I think we're talking about two completely different things yeah. here. She may need to slim down, but I don't think it has anything to do with Just her. watch. I'll be telling her I told you so when she does lose mm -hmm. weight and then gets a bigger role and then wins an Oscar. Oh. So Gabby, <laughs> go get the stomach stapled. I'll get, oh. send you some Hollywood cookies and then we'll talk. Blair, not nice. <laughs> I think you are done for today. I guess I'm that. done. <laughs> well, I'm done. Thank you for watching I Told You So. I'm Blair. I'm Chelsea. Check and you later. See you next time. Mwah. Bye. Cheers. Cheers <laughs> with your Corona.